People often say to me, there's no hope left for Tibet, but I don't agree. I think there is hope. When I left Tibet, I was really uh, very strong-minded that I was going to see His Holiness Dalai Lama and had desired that I was going to be able to tell His Holiness about all the things that are happening in Tibet and tell the names of people who have perished in the prison system. But uh, when I finally got to meet him, it was such an unbelievable experience and all thoughts I had in mind, I just completely lost and I couldn't say anything. I was totally speechless and I just cried and the tears just flew down my cheeks. In early 80s, beginning to meet the ex-prisoners, when they uh, expressed you see, their sadness and their pains with tear, then quite often I also got tear. Some cases starvation. But they suffer a lot. Quarter <laughs> You know, the Communist Party cannot command the sun dries from the West. No power, however the powerful the Communist Party may be, it cannot make the sun rise from the West. Similarly, I mean, how can we as Tibetans accept that we are part of China? This is not our experience, and it doesn't matter how oppressive they are, the truth will always remain true. <laughs>